Hello Minecrafters, it's the Aussie Creeper here and I've got some good news and I have some bad news. Bad news is I've lost my old world due to a file that's been corrupted. Yeah, I've tried various things to get it to work and it just doesn't want to work so... Oh well, good news is I've got a new texture pack and I've also installed Optifine. So, I installed Optifine because I thought maybe that might fix my problem, but it hasn't seemed to do anything. And I know it's not my computer because I do play Battlefield 4 on my computer, and oh, it does it well. And I don't have any problems with Battlefield 4, so I'm just thinking that maybe it was the way I saved the game one day or. Just something like that, I don't know. But yeah, it has made me lose all my hard work that I was doing on that map. Wasn't happy with it, but that's just the way it is. And it gives me the opportunity to start a new Let's Play series. So, let's get on with it. And let's find ourselves place to start building our house probably one of the hardest things about Minecraft I'd have to say is finding the perfect place to start building because there's so many places you can build and finding the right place can always be a task so, what I'm going to do guys, is I'm going to keep adventuring, and I'm going to look for a really awesome place to build, and when I do find that place, I'll come back to you, and we'll take it from there. Alright guys, so after a couple of hours of walking around and checking out places and a few nightfalls I finally think I've found where I want to start building I'm thinking in this area here it's gonna be sweet yes don't think these mossy cobblestones is a spawn box somewhere nearby it tricked me too that's because I'm in the Tegan uh, bloom which is pretty cool so, for now, I'm just going to build myself a little tempo house. So, four, we'll get five. Four, five. This will be just a tempo house. Some of the ideas I've been thinking to do here is I'm probably going to be thinking about building, uh, clear most of these trees, and use the wood to make a bit of a mansion. And then, I don't want that there. And then eventually I'm going to build an underwater base just here, I reckon. These are just all ideas at the moment. Well, I said this house is just a tempo, so it doesn't need to be anything super special. Done. And that will 
be a house just for now. Looks shabby. That's right. Gonna have to make one. Get ourselves an axe. This in here. Where will you be falling? Just there. Put our do we have bed? We'll put you just there. And now what I need to do is get some cobblestone, I'm sure. Yeah. Alright, so go get some cobblestone. to do myself a furnace bam and then we'll stick the furnace right there now one thing I do need in here I need to get some coal that's what I need so coal or don't have any trunks tree down anyway so because eventually what you can all see once I start, stop cutting this tree down all of that I'm going to flatten out to about this level to better build I reckon I might build a mansion there to start with um, alright so coal well this will be charcoal in fact Grab the first bit. Boom. No, I don't even need that. Boom. That's what we want. Some torches. One should do fine in there. And just. There we go. So we've got some torches just to start with. Once all that's burnt, get some more torches happening. The other thing I will need, while it's fresh on memory, is a chest. And we'll put chests. stuff in there we won't need Get some torches going and just to get this sort of going. Oh, sand and chop that in there. Alright, so what I need to do is flatten most of this out, as I was saying. Get it nice and level. I'll try and keep it all at 63 and I might push it all back to about here somewhere and see how I go from there Ooh, got a cave in here Food. 
let's put our stuff down to 79. Yes. Excellent. Oh, yes. Grab it all, grab it all. I need that iron to do the wheat fields. That was the one of the main things. Alright, let's get out of here before any unexpected guests come. Alright, glass. I haven't seen the glass in this texture pack. It's, what's it look like? <laughs> Actually, looks like the glass on um the John the John Smith one. Let's get that food happening. A bit of coal for that. Because I'm gonna need some food. And here comes the next sunset. Waiting. Got the sticks. Get some sticks for. And we'll do two shovels. This part of it rolling. So this should be a pretty interesting thing all up. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is. Just keep clearing this out, get a bit more done, and then I'll come back to you. Alright guys, so, I'll show you where I'm up to a little bit. Alright, so, I've got the wheat farm just over here. It's growing pretty good. The water's just there, so I can do just two drills. I've built the start of the underground base I'm going to do. Underwater base would be the correct term. And I decided I was going to turn this into a mine. Let's put that there. And the coolest thing about this, though, oh, nearly died then. Um, come, I hit this little cave, right? And I was coming down this way. And do 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 do. Ah ha ha. Everyone knows what this is, and this is a zombie one. And to top it off, look what was in this chest. Look what was in this chest. Two discs. Same. That's all right. But I got myself horse armor, some more iron, another bucket, oh, a saddle, and some more gunpowder. That is awesome. Quite happy with that. Very, very happy with that. So that's a good start to. Um, digging down to this mine that I was going to build. So, before I continue digging down, I think I'm going to check this cave out a bit more and see where it goes. And if I come across anything interesting in my travels, I'll be more than welcome to show you this. Alrighty guys, so, I think I reckon we'll call this episode number first episode of our new Let's Play world, and I'll just give you a quick detour of what's going on. So I'm going to make this a little jetty, probably change the design around a little bit. I've just been mucking around to see what I like, the design I like, I want to do here. But check this out. Dun, 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 dun. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. So, eventually, this will be the underground base. Now, I'll just put that there. Now, I will show you how I've been doing this, but I won't do that on this episode. I'll show you on the next episode how I've been slowly building this, but you can kind of see how I'm doing it. I just place the glass where I want it, and then to get rid of the water, I'm just placing sand and dirt, and then removing the sand and dirt to give myself a nice water-free area under the under the ocean. And if you're wondering why I put the entry tube like this 
done it so that no bad guys can follow me. That if they want to follow me, they're going to hit the water and they can't swim down. So, ha 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 ha. Pretty good. Wheat field is slowly, but, but surely is getting bigger. As you can see there. I need to get some more of that happening. And we'll just quickly... down here to the mine and here's the first stage of the mine and as I was doing this first tunnel I come across this ravine that I'm gonna check out and do a fair bit of awesomeness in there hopefully but yes this is our little mine hopefully and Hopefully we can get some... What's that? Oh, I can hear a baby zombie somewhere. But yeah, so that's what I've done so far. In my first, uh, you could say, five to, five to ten hours of playing this on the first map. And this is going to be a pretty cool map I think. Yeah, because I've got some very awesome ideas, including with what's going down on there. And yeah, you will have to continue watching to see what I'm going to do in later days. But this is the Aussie Creeper, signing out. Bye bye!